This is Andre of Big Gemini Kennels, aka BGK. Welcome back. Smash that subscribe button, hit the like button, drop a comment, let us know what you're thinking. Make sure you hit that alert button so that you're notified every time we drop content, and that's gonna be frequently because we came to drop bombs. Beast mode. Hey, what's up to my YouTube family? It's Andre BGK right back at you with another banger. This one here today is going to be interesting. What we're talking about is how to pick a great home protector or a great guardian dog, a great guard dog that will protect your house, protect your family from any intruder. Whether that intruder is a human breaking into your property, looking to do harm, or a large animal crossing into your property, hopping a fence, looking to do harm, any perceived threat will be dismantled and destroyed by this list of dogs. Let's take a look. Now the first thing I had to do when creating this list was think about what elements creates a great guard dog. What are the different components that make a great home protector, right? And I started to think like the first thing would have to be temperament. You need a dog with a stable temperament, a balanced temperament that could be great with the family and also a terror to any unknown threat. And this was an essential component because no one wants to get a liability, right? We don't want a dog that is a potential threat to our kids or our family. We want a dog that's guaranteed to protect our family, but guaranteed to destroy any unknown threat, whether it's a big animal or a man coming through. And that leads to the next thing. All right, dogs have to be large enough to be what we consider a man stopper, right? Every dog is not a man stopper. Some dogs can be aggressive, chihuahuas are aggressive, but would they make a great guard dog? They would make a great alarm system, but not a great guard dog. They just don't have the size to do the job. So with that being said, please don't believe your wife because size matters, especially in guard dogs, all right? So the next thing I was thinking about was maintenance. What level of maintenance would this dog require? And when I started going through that, it ruled out several dogs because some dogs are just not for the first time owner. They are high maintenance dogs and we had to make sure that these dogs on this list are not what we would consider high maintenance, right? One thing about high maintenance dogs, if they're not properly taken care of, they're gonna do damage to your house, to your property, to your furniture, to everything that you wanna protect, they're gonna destroy, right? You want a protector, not a disruptor. So with that being said, there are several things that we're looking for in the temperament of the dogs that we're seeking. And after that, we'll get straight to the list. Now here are some of the key traits that we're looking for in today's list of guard dogs and home protectors. Obedient, intelligent, loyal, confident, Fierce, powerful, territorial, fearless, alert, and most of all, protective. Now that we got that out the way, let's get to the list of dogs that I consider the greatest guard dogs of all time, the greatest home protectors, the greatest guardians. Please let me know in the comments which breed of guard dog has been the most compatible with you and your family and why, right? And also, if you have a guard dog that's done well for you and it's not on my list, please drop that in the comments as well. We can learn from the comments and we can learn from each other. As far as my credentials, I'm the owner and founder of Big Gemini Kennels. I've been breeding dogs successfully for the last 15 years. I've written two books about dogs. I love dogs, all breeds. I have a pack of over 17 amazing dogs over at the BGK Ranch who are amazing guardians and I wouldn't have it any other way. Try me if you want to. Enough about me, let's get to the list. And this list is in no particular order. Let's go. Number 10, Dogo Argentino. The Dogo Argentino is a fearless beast. The Dogo Argentino is a large, white, muscular breed of dog that was developed in Argentina primarily for the purpose of big game hunting. The breeder, Antonio Martinez, also wanted a dog that would exhibit steadfast bravery and was willing to protect his human companion. They were literally bred to be guardians. Wait. The weight of this breed ranges from a 77 pound small female to a 100 pounds plus large male. Life expectancy. The Dogo Argentino has a life expectancy of 10 to 15 years, which is pretty much as good as it gets. Breed traits. The Dogo Argentino has a lot of the desired traits we look for in a protector. It's fearless, powerful, tolerant, friendly, affectionate, cheerful, loyal, and extremely protective. Number nine, Borble. The Borbo originated in South Africa and is a large dog of massive type, often used as a family guard dog. It is large with a short coat, strong bone structure, and well-developed muscles. The Borbo was more of a protection dog that could be also caught on to hunt. The coat is short and sleek with dense hair coverage. The recognized colors are brindle, 
fawn, and brown, and it may or may not have a black mask. Now we all know Africa is a very dangerous place with a lot of large game roaming around. We're talking about lions, leopards, baboons, all kind of crazy stuff. And in its native land of Africa, it was used to both hunt large game, such as leopards, baboons, etc., as well as to protect the land. They are very courageous, independent, and territorial, making them excellent intimidating guard dogs. Now one of the reasons this dog is on my list is although they're strong and fierce enough to deal with big games such as leopards and baboons, they also are very loving with family members and gentle and playful with children. As their natural guard dog role suggests, Borbos are fiercely protective when they suspect a threat to their home or people. They require consistent training and socialization from an early age so they are manageable and well-mannered. And for the record, they don't always get along with other dogs. This is one of the reasons I have it a little bit far back on my guard dog list. This is also not necessarily what I would call a dog that should be for the first time dog owner. Wait. Now these are big dogs. The females come in at 120 pounds and large males come in at 170 pounds. So you can imagine the intimidation factor. Life expectancy. The Borbo has an average life expectancy of 10 to 12 years, which is pretty good for this size of a dog. Breed traits. Now the Borbo is actually on this list because it has a lot of the breed traits that we're looking for in a guard dog. It's obedient, intelligent, loyal, confident, territorial, dominant, independent, and fearless. And last but not least, incredibly powerful, which is why it was able to take on large games such as leopards in Africa. Number eight, Bull Mastiff. The Bull Mastiff is a British bred dog with large size, a solid build, and a short muzzle. It was initially developed as a guard dog in the 19th century by crossbreeding the English Mastiff with the now extinct Old English Bulldog. This beast is a great example of a natural born guardian. This dog possesses a strong protective instinct. They're soldiers, very brave, and extremely devoted and loyal to protecting its family. Their extreme size, thickness, and looks are usually enough to ward off any potential threat in human or animal form. It is important to note that they need to form a strong bond with the family and have structured training so they can be controlled and become the true, loyal guardian the family needs for protection. They were especially designed to be man stoppers, but please keep a close eye on its weight. Since they have the lowest lifespan of all the dogs on this list, you can shorten their lifespan by having them overweight and they're low energy dogs. It's important. Get them their exercise. Weight. The Bull Mastiff is a big thick dog and the average weight is between 100 and 130 pounds. Life Expectancy Unfortunately, the Bull Mastiff has one of the lower life expectancies on this list. It ranges between 8 and 10 years. Breed Traits The Bull Mastiff definitely has some amazing breed traits. It's loyal, devoted, powerful, territorial, calm, protective, low energy, and stays very close to the family. All these traits combine to make this a low energy, low maintenance, incredible guard dog. I would definitely recommend this dog to the first time dog owner looking for a strong, powerful guardian. Number seven, Akita. Now the Akita has one of the most interesting backstories out of all the dogs on this list. The samurai soldiers used the Akita as guard dogs to hunt deer, wild boar, bears, and waterfowl. Now the Akita would hunt bears in male and female pairs. The male would distract the bear while the female ran around and bit at its hocks until the hunter arrived and was able to kill the bear. You heard me right. These dogs were bred to hunt bear. Imagine the courage it takes for two dogs to attack a bear until the hunter is able to kill it. These are serious guard dogs. Now, despite being bred to hunt bears, this is a very affectionate breed that loves to be around well-known friends and family. This is a powerful guardian with strong protective instincts that gets bored very easily. Because of the dog's roaming and intelligent mind, boredom can lead to unwanted behavior like biting and chewing and so forth. This dog is not for the first time an experienced dog owner. A matter of fact, at one point in history, only Japanese royals could own these prize hunting dogs. These amazing dogs originated in Japan, where they were initially bred for fighting and hunting and even considered a delicacy in its native land at one point. Its fur was also used to make warm coats. How weird is that? It was also used to herd fish into nets. Like I said, this dog has a very interesting and crazy history. Now, Akitas are one of the most loyal dog breeds. This courageous and alert breed is naturally suspicious of strangers, making it a great guard dog, and that's the reason it's on this list. Akitas will keep watch over you and your family at all times. Wait. 
The Akita's weights ranges between 75 pounds for a small female and 130 pounds for a large male. Life expectancy. The Akita has a decent life expectancy of 10 to 12 years. Breed traits. Now Akitas are quiet, fastidious dogs. They are very wary of strangers and often intolerant of other animals. Akitas will gladly share their silly affectionate side with their family and friends. They thrive on human companionship. They are large, independent thinking and hardwired for protecting those they love. Now all of these traits combine to make one hell of a guard dog with an eccentric past. Number 6. Cane Corso Now the Cane Corso is a very interesting guard dog. The Cane Corso is an Italian breed of Mastiff that was usually kept as a companion dog or guard dog. It was also used to protect livestock, hunt large game, and to herd cattle. To make sure that Cane Corso breeders are getting the best of the best when it comes to the breed, it is subject to a working trial. In order to qualify for registration, the dogs must show tranquility in the presence of inoffensive strangers, indifference to gunfire, and an aggressive defense of the owner against an attacker. What this basically means is it's a great guard dog. It will not attack a person that doesn't pose a threat, it's not scared of gunfire, however it is super aggressive when it comes to protecting its owner. It plays zero games. Now that's what you want in a guard dog. You can come on the property if you want to, but it's going to chew your ass up. The Cane Corso is an amazing guardian with a serious look. They are often mistaken for pit bulls or XL American bullies. The primary way to tell the difference is the dock tail. They have dock tails. They interact well with children and are amazing protectors that will stop at nothing to protect the ones they love. They have a slight drooling issue due to loose jowls, but there's nothing I would say negatively about the breed. They are large with a lot of athleticism. Wait. These are large dogs. The females on a small end weigh 80 pounds and the largest males are about 130 plus pounds. Life expectancy. These dogs have a long life expectancy for large dogs, right around 10 to 12 years. Breed traits. The kind of Corso is powerful, athletic, very trainable, has a balanced temperament, and is very confident and protective. All of these are highly desired traits in the guard dog. Number 5. Rottweiler. The good old Rottweiler. Now, I have a special place in my heart for Rottweilers because my very first dog was a Rottweiler, right? Her name was Annie. My sister named her. Don't judge me. And she would walk everywhere I went. And you know what? That was one of the best guard dogs I ever had. She was very dominant, had a lot of aggression, but she loved the hell out of me. She would actually walk with me to school without a leash and then walk back home on her own. And school wasn't close. Yeah, I wasn't being very responsible at that time. When she would meet new people around me, she was always very suspicious. She wasn't very friendly with strangers. She is always very standoffish. Trust me when I say I was well protected with her around. And another reason this dog is so loved in American culture is because Franklin and Chop is featured on Grand Theft Auto 5 with a guy named Franklin walking around with his Rottweiler named Chop and everybody knows these two characters. As a matter of fact, I get called Franklin and they say my dogs look like Chop even though they're XL American bullies. The Rottweiler is a UK-based breed of domestic dog regarded as medium to large, or large. The dogs were known in German as Rottweiler Muskenhund, meaning Rottweiler butcher's dogs, because their main use was to herd livestock and pull carts laden with butchered meat to the market. This dog is still used to herd stock in many parts of the world. Rottweilers are now used as search and rescue dogs, guard dogs, and police dogs in most parts of the world. In American culture, it's most commonly used as a guard dog or companion dog, or both. Now the Rottweiler is considered to be one of the oldest surviving dog breeds. Its origins goes back to Roman times. These dogs were kept as herder or driving dogs. The main task of the Rottweiler became driving and guarding the herds of cattle and the defense of their masters and their property. To sum it all up, over centuries, Rottweilers are known to be loyal and protective with a natural instinct to guard their home and family members. And to simplify this even further, if a would-be intruder is walking by your home and sees a Rottweiler in your yard, I guarantee you he's going to pick a different house. They know it's danger. Rottweilers are amazing guard dogs. Wait. Rottweilers weigh in at around 77 pounds to 110 pounds for females and 110 pounds to 130 pounds for male. Life expectancy. Unfortunately, Rottweilers have one of the shorter lifespans on this list, coming in at around 8 to 10 years. Breed Traits This is a place where the Rottweiler really excels, breed traits. It is confident, steady, self-assured, devoted, alert, good-natured, fearless, obedient, calm, and courageous. Number 4. Doberman Now here's a breed with another very interesting backstory. 
The Doberman, or Doberman Pinscher, is a medium to large breed of domestic dog that was originally developed around 1890 by Luis Doberman, a tax collector from Germany. We all love taxes, right? Well, they didn't love taxes either. So what he did was create a breed of dog to protect him as he went around collecting taxes. Don't hold that against him, though. Now, Dobermans are an incredibly versatile breed. They're used to help humans as search and rescue dogs, therapy dogs, and other forms of service dogs. They also make great partners for a wide range of dog sports, including agility, dog diving, fly ball, obedience, rally, and scutzen. Now, the Doberman is a very energetic dog, exceptionally smart and confident. They definitely require a decent amount of exercise because of their energy level, but they're well worth it. They develop very close bonds with their loved ones and always are on high alert looking for intruders. They are not trusting or friendly with strangers or anyone they don't know. Now, they're not as bulky or big as Mastiff breeds, so they are slightly more fast and agile. This is definitely a well-designed man stopper and an excellent choice for a home protector. Wait. Now, the Doberman weighs in at 70 pounds for a small female, up to 100 pounds plus for a large male. Life expectancy. Being one of the lighter, more energetic dogs on this list gives the Doberman an advantage in the life expectancy department. It usually lasts about 10 to 13 years if well taken care of. Breed traits. The Doberman has a lot of highly desired breed traits, which is why it's so high on the list. It's fearless, obedient, loyal, alert, confident, intelligent, driven, loving, and stable. I'm sure this breed excelled in keeping the taxman safe, and now he can protect you and your family too. Number 3. Presa Canario The Presa Canario is a Spanish-bred large breed of Mastiff or catch dog type. It originates from the Canary Islands, but now can be found worldwide, formerly known as the Doggo Canario. Known for their strong guardian instincts, Presa Canarios are considered to be an owner-focused breed that's highly intelligent and trainable. With ample socialization and proper training, the Presa Canario can become a loyal family pet and model canine citizen. They are very suspicious and worry of strangers and very alert. Now, Presa Canarios absolutely bond very strongly with their loved ones and family members, right? That's never an issue, but they are very worried of strangers. And because of that, socialization, proper socialization, is actually extremely important. Because after a certain age, they don't want to meet anyone new. So if they don't know you, they feel like they owe you, they will chew through you, right? That is very important. Now, they're great guard dogs, but that must be taken into account. Now, maybe I'm a little bit of a savage because I actually like that trait about them a lot and that's why they rank so high on my list. There is nobody that can walk up to them and befriend them if they don't know them. They will protect your property with their life against whoever or whatever. Wait. Now, these are large dogs. Females come in on the small side at 83 pounds and males go up to 140 pounds plus. Life expectancy. Presa Canarios have a life expectancy of 9 to 11 years. Breed traits. The breed traits of the Presa Canario is everything you expect from a top-ranked guard dog. They're suspicious, stubborn, strong-willed, dominant, gentle, intelligent, calm, protective, and highly alert. Number 2. German Shepherd The fact that German Shepherds are number 2 on my list should surprise absolutely no one. There's a reason why the police officers choose them as their companion. These dogs are the truth. Now, this is a very famous dog breed. Because of his versatility, many dog lovers worldwide consider this the all-time greatest dog, period. German Shepherds are generally considered dog kind's finest all-purpose worker. The German Shepherd dog is a large, agile, muscular dog of noble character and high intelligence. Loyal, confident, courageous, and steady, the German Shepherd is a true dog lover's delight. The German Shepherd is a herding breed known for its courage, loyalty, and guardian instincts. This breed makes an excellent guard dog, police dog, military dog, guide dog for the blind, and search and rescue dog. For many families, the German Shepherd is also a treasured family pet. German Shepherds are generally loyal and want to protect their owners as much as they want to protect themselves. The human-canine relationships amplifies the German Shepherd's desire to protect their owners even when they themselves are in danger. These loyal and protective dogs love to work, defend their families, and please their owners. They are intelligent and affectionate towards adults and children alike, but will stand up to any threat from any stranger. This is exactly what you would want to see in a top-ranked guard dog. Wait. German Shepherds are one of the lighter dogs on this list, with females weighing in at 50 pounds and males weighing in at 100 pounds plus. Life Expectancy The German Shepherd has a very good life expectancy of 9 to 13 years. Number 1 XL American Bully. The first thing that people think when they see an XL American Bully is, wow, that's a big pit bull. 
None could be further from the truth. These are not big pit bulls, but a newer breed that has a mix of pit bull inside of it. When you compare an XL American Bully with a traditional American Pit Bull Terrier, they're much larger, they have bigger blockier heads, bigger blockier bodies, a more intimidation factor, they're better on the companion side because they're more stable, they're not as drivey, they have a more of a balanced temperament, they're excellent family companions, and amazing guardians. Now many might assume they're called XL American Bullies because they look very intimidating and like they would bully an intruder into leaving if they didn't attack them, right? But nothing could be further from the truth. The bully in XL American Bully actually refers to the big blocky body type that they carry. XL American Bullies carry the perfect mix of the fierce guardian that will protect his family until his dying breath and the perfect family dog who is loving, affectionate, and gentle with the ones it loves. They are athletic but not as nimble as some of the smaller breeds. When they are on guard dog mode, there is not many animals quite as ferocious as the XL American Bully. It will not stop attacking an intruder or animal until the threat doesn't exist anymore. It is very interesting to see many XL American Bully owners say they didn't know that their dog could be so violent until they seen them in action when defending their family. Just their appearance alone terrifies most would-be intruders. Big serious blocky heads with an intimidating stare, broad chest, and big bones. These are very large, very intimidating dogs that basically look like supersized pit bulls on steroids. I personally don't feel like there's a better overall guardian and loving family member on this list, but clearly I'm biased. They can get along well with other breeds if they are raised and socialized with them from an early age. It is important that we note that not all XL American Bullies are great guardians. Some are big lazy couch potatoes with zero drive, so it's important that you get your XL American Bully from a proven bloodline and a quality kennel with proven guardians that have a stable temperament. This is vital. I've owned and operated Big Gemini Kennels for the last 15 years and we have produced some of the most amazing XL American Bully specimens to be seen on this planet. They're amazing guardians with great temperaments, very, very stable temperaments, very loving with children, but I guarantee any intruder entering your house is going to die. They might not make it. And I'm being honest when I say that. However, there never been one attack from any dog that I've produced on a family member. There have been intruders that didn't make it or nearly didn't make it. That happens, but that's to be expected with the breed. That's literally what I breed them for. Our kennel is well known because of the beauty, size, and temperament of the dogs we produce. Big Gemini Kennels have been considered one of the top XL American Bully Kennels for over the last decade. Not only are we the founders, but we are the first kennel to introduce the breed to Europe as well, where it's taking a stronghold. The XL American Bully has quickly became one of the most popular breeds in Europe. The link to our Big Gemini Kennels website and Instagram is both in the description below. Go ahead and check us out if you want to see some of the best guardians on the planet. You know our motto, BGK, quality matters. Wait. Now remember earlier in the video I told you size matters. The XL American Bully proves that. They are one of the largest dogs on this list. XL American Bully females weigh in at between 75 and 140 pounds. Males on the large end can weigh 180 pounds plus. Now the typical range of a male would be between about 100 pounds to 150 pounds. However, I have produced dogs that are up to 200 pounds, as crazy as that sounds. So now you understand why they have an XL in the XL American Bully name. Life expectancy. Life expectancy is yet another area where the XL American Bully separates himself. Usually larger dogs have shorter lives. It's different with these dogs. They live between 10 to 15 years old, one of the longest lifespans on this list. Breed traits. This breed embodies all of the breed traits that I would want to see in a stable, fierce guardian. Loving, affectionate, intelligent, loyal, athletic, stable, fearless, powerful, moderate energy, territorial, and highly alert. You have a large animal intruder? You have three people breaking into your house? It really doesn't matter. This is the dog for the job. And trust me, I'm speaking from personal experience. Ultimate Guardian Unlocked. The Kangle. Oh, you thought it was over? Oh no. Oh no. We got one more to go. Ladies and gentlemen, Helen out of Turkey, with the strongest bite force known on any dog. 743 PSI. The only dog that was bred to hunt wolves and kill them. The ultimate livestock guardian, weighing in at a whopping 150 pounds plus, I introduce to you, the Kangol. The Kangol Shepherd Dog is a historic Turkish breed of large livestock guardian dog native to eastern Turkey. 
This breed of dog is known for its large size and impressive strength. With a bite force of 743 PSI, this breed is the undisputed king of the canine world when it comes to raw power. Now, despite their aggressiveness towards predators by nature, Kangos are predictable and reliable, loyal and protective, making excellent partner and companion dogs that are gentle with livestock and children. They are alert, independent, territorial, and protective of the domestic animals or human which they have formed a bond with. Despite being ideally suited to a working life protecting stock, Kangos do make good family pets. Kangos are the only dogs that are known to kill and fend off adult wolves. Many myths have been spread about Kangles being wolf killers. The first position for the strongest dog breed in the world goes to Kangol. They were initially bred to protect sheep from predators, so they're natural guardians from birth. The Kangol is the most muscular dog breed globally, known for its gentle nature and strong protective instincts. Now that's the ultimate combination. Now a lot of people say that this dog is so big and powerful with such strong guardian instincts that it's pretty much overkill to have them in a city. I say if you're a responsible dog owner, have one. If somebody chooses to break into your property, and the famous quote, if he dies, he dies. One last thing, despite their incredible size, these dogs live 13 to 15 years. Wow. One last thing, this list wouldn't be completed if I didn't mention the Belgian Malinois. Now, some people are going to ask me why didn't I include them in my list, and I need to say that they're super high drive, which requires somebody that really understands how to train and deal with a dog of that magnitude. That's the reason why the cops don't use them and why they use the German Shepherd. However, if you can maintain a Belgian Malinois, they are incredibly, incredibly high maintenance, but amazing guard dog. Highly intelligent highly driven well that wraps up my list for the best guard dogs in the world i want to hear some feedback from you guys what do you think about the list what would you add or take away from the list what dogs have you had as great guard dogs that really protected your property as always please like comment and subscribe make sure you tap in we always drop great content stay tuned